Hi guys, Jeremy here, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can set up an e-signature in Go High Level. E-signatures are a great way to simplify your business processes and make it easier for clients to sign important documents without the burden of printing, signing, and scanning. And the best thing is that Go High Level makes it incredibly easy to set up and manage. But before we get started, I've got a special offer for you. Normally, when you go to GHL's website, you can access a 14-day free trial. However, if you use my link found in the description below, you'll get a 30-day free trial instead. And as a thank you, I'm also giving you access to my complete course, Go High Level Jumpstart. Now, this course is going to guide you through setting up and launching your business within those first 30 days. Go High Level has a ton of features and it can seem pretty overwhelming. So in my course, I focus on the key aspects that will help you start making money with Go High Level during that initial month. Additionally, you're gonna receive my high quality Notion templates for free. This is gonna include the Business Hub template to help you manage your business and the Finance Hub for tracking your finances. Now these templates are valued at over $900, but you'll get them at no cost when you use my affiliate link. Just click the first link in the description below to find all the details about these offers and how to claim them. It's just my way of saying thank you for supporting the channel. Now let's dive in. To set up an e-signature in Go High Level, the first step is to make sure that you're in the sub account. Go High Level has two different types of accounts, the agency account and the sub account. The agency account is used for overall management and administrative tasks across multiple clients. In contrast, the sub account is designed for individual clients or specific purposes. If you're currently using the agency account, you'll need to switch to your sub account to set up the e-signature. Switching accounts is simple. Just click on the click here to switch option at the top of the left-hand menu. And this will this lets you easily toggle between your accounts. After you've switched to your sub account, look for the payments tab in the left menu and click on it. This will, take you, this will take you to the payments page dashboard and here you'll find various financial management tools and options. And since we wanna set up an e-signature, let's focus on the documents and contracts section within that dashboard. This area is where you can manage all of your important documents and contracts in one place. When you hover, over, when you hover your cursor over the documents and contracts option, you'll see two more choices, all documents and contracts and templates. We're going to choose the second option, templates, because we want to create and use a template for an e-signature. Now, templates are very helpful. They provide a standard format for documents, which saves you time and ensures consistency in all of your contracts and agreements. Just click on the templates and you'll be taken to the documents and contracts templates page. Here, you can see all of your saved templates. You can edit these or you can use them as a base for your e-signature setup. Now to create a new template, start by clicking on the blue add new button in the uh, top right corner of the screen. Now this button is your gateway to creating any new document or template on the platform. After clicking it, you'll see two options, new template and upload a PDF. Choosing the new template lets you create a document or contract template from scratch. Now this gives you complete control over the content and design. Alternatively, you can select upload a PDF and this option only supports PDF files and is perfect if you already have a document that you want to use. For this demo, we'll choose the second option, which is upload a PDF. Now, when you select this option, a pop-up window will appear. You can either drag and drop your PDF file into this window or you can choose it from your computer. After selecting the file, click on the upload button to continue. Now this will upload your PDF to the platform and set it up for editing. Once the PDF file is uploaded, you'll be taken to a new screen and here you can add fields and edit your document. This is the document editor interface where you'll find various tools to customize your PDF. At the top of the screen, at, at the top of the screen, there's a field for you to give your document a title. Now make sure you provide a clear and descriptive title so you can easily identify and manage your templates later. 
On the top left side of the screen, you'll find some options shown as icons. We'll focus on the plus icon. Now this is where you can add different fields to your document. And when you click on the plus icon, a side menu is gonna open up. Now this menu presents various types of fields such as text, signature, date, checkbox, and more. You can simply drag these fields onto your document and place them wherever you like. Since we're setting up an e-signature, let's concentrate on the signature field. Just drag the signature field onto the document and position it where you want, where you want the signature to appear. Now this field serves as a placeholder for where the recipient will electronically sign the document. Now that you've added the signature field, clicking on it will open up the menu on the right side. And here you can assign this field to, to a signer. It's important to assign the signature field because it specifies who is responsible for signing the document. To do this, you click on the drop down menu under the field labeled to be signed by and select the contract that you want to assign it to. This way, the document will go to the right person when it's time to sign. Once you've completed these steps, look at the top right corner of the screen. You'll see two options, use template and save. If you click on Use Template, your document will be saved and ready to use immediately. Choose this option if you're happy with the document and you want to go ahead and proceed. Now, if you'd like to make changes or continue editing later, click the Save button. This will save all of your, prog this will save all of your progress without exiting the editor. For this demo, let's start by clicking on the Use Template button to continue. Now, once you click on it, the system may take a moment to process your request. After after that, it's going to redirect you back to the document. Now, if you look at the top left side of the screen, you'll notice the recipients option has been added. This is where you can add more recipients or signers to the document if needed. To add recipients, just simply click on the recipients option. Then you can add contacts under primary client. This section lets you specify who the primary recipient of the document is. After you've added a recipient, you'll have the option to include more. Just click on the Add More Recipient button to add additional signers. Now this feature is especially helpful for documents that need multiple signatures, like agreements involving several parties. If you have more than one recipient, you can manage the order in which they sign the document. Simply toggle the Set Signing Order option on or off. When this option is on, you can easily drag and drop recipients, recipients to arrange them by their signing sequence. Setting, this, setting the signing order is especially important for documents that require a specific approval process or when the order of signatures has legal, legal significance. Once you've finished these steps, you're ready to send the document for signing. Just click on the Send button in the top right corner of the screen. After clicking, you'll see two options, send via email and share via link. These options give you flexibility in how to distribute the document to your recipients. If you want to send the document directly via email, just click, click on the send via email. The document will be sent to the email addresses of your recipients. They will receive an email with a link to the document and instructions on how to sign it. Alternatively, if you prefer to share the document using a link, click on Share via Link. The system will generate a unique URL for you, and you can then share this link with your recipients through any communication method that you like, such as instant messaging apps or another email. Now, this option is great if you need to send the documents to a larger audience or if you want to make it accessible in a place where multiple people can reach it. And that's it. You've successfully set up an e-signature in Go High Level. You can use these steps to set up e-signatures for any document that you upload to the platform. I hope you learned something new today, and if you're interested in signing up for Go High Level and trying out the e-signature feature for yourself, you can use my link. Now, normally, you're going to get a 14-day trial through Go High Level's website, but with my link, you're going to receive a 30-day free trial. And as a big thank you, I'm also giving you access to my full course, Go High Level Jumpstart. Now, this course guides you through setting up and launching your business within the first 30 days. Go High Level has a ton of features and it's really easy to get lost and you can feel overwhelmed. So in my course, I highlight the key aspects to focus on so that you can start making money quickly. Plus, you're gonna receive my top quality Notion templates for free. 
This includes the Business Hub template for managing your business and the Finance Hub template for tracking your finances. These templates are valued at over $900, but you're going to get them all for free as a thank you for using my affiliate link in the description. Just click the first link in the description below to claim your bonuses. It's my way of saying thank you for supporting the channel.